Encoded, Season 1, Episode 1, Ashes and Embers. It's okay, Patrick. You're okay. Sorry, I fell asleep. Don't be. You look like you needed it. Uh, I really didn't. It wasn't very pleasant. Another nightmare? Yeah. It ended before it got to the good part, though, this time, so that's something. How far out are we? About 15 minutes. I think I'm going to give Nani another call. Hey, Nani, it's Patrick. Again. Marina and I are about 15 minutes away from your house. I don't know what you're up to, but there's been dead air from you for three days. You can't do that. You'd kill me if I ever did that to you. Call me back the moment you get this, okay? See you soon. And you're positive she said nothing about vacation plans or or anything like that? She lives in the middle of nowhere. She's always on vacation. Besides, she knows my brain is completely useless these days. She would have told you about her travel plans, too. Your brain isn't useless, Patrick. You know what I mean. Yes, I do. And I wish you wouldn't say that. God. I have a really bad feeling about all of this. Try and calm yourself down. You're gonna give yourself a headache. Did you take your medication? Probably not. We left home pretty early. You need to take it before it leaves your system. I'll do it when we get to Nani's. Could you please just do it now, Patrick? I don't think it's going to leave my system in the next few minutes. And I don't think I should have to beg you to take care of yourself, or force you to do something like I'm your mother. I signed papers two years ago to become your wife, not your guardian. Take the damn pills. It's the turn right up here. Nani, it's Patrick and Marina. Nani! Hey, there's a note or something on the mirror. Patrick. I lasted longer than I thought I would. I love you so much, Nani. What's that mean? I'm not sure, but we need to find Nani right now. You start upstairs, I'll look down here and in the garden. Okay. Nani! Nani! If you can hear me, please answer me! Oh my god, no. Oh, Christ. What is it? Patrick, don't come up here. Nani? Nani, are you okay? What's wrong? Is she okay? I'm so sorry, Patrick. No, 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 no. Fuck! We have to call someone. We have to get her some help! Uh, Call an ambulance! She's gone, Patrick. I checked her pulse. And she's been here for a while.
Are you a fucking doctor now, Marina? Can you please just call someone? Patrick. Don't fucking touch me! Just... Just call someone. She was ready. I don't know if that makes this any better right now, but she's sitting in a chair facing the door. She knew they were coming. She saw the guns they used, and she wasn't scared. She didn't deserve this. It's all my fault. How could it possibly be your fault? Nani had a few guns hidden around here. Get the one that's in the box under her bed. I'll get the one downstairs. What in the hell am I supposed to do with a gun? Marina, just take it. Holy shit, that's real. I could never pull the trigger on this. I'm not even sure I can pick it up. I hope you never have to pull it. Once you get to your parents' house, you'll be safe. While you do what, exactly? I have to see someone and get some answers. And you plan on going alone? No way. We are in this together. This is not something you want to be with me on. It isn't going to be some fun romp. It's a trip through hell that I'm not sure I'm coming back from. I know the titles don't mean the same to you as they do to me, but you're my wife. No matter the circumstances or the reasoning for it. I couldn't live with myself if I had to watch something happen to you. I'm coming with you. Marina. I'm standing in a room with Nani's body, Patrick. This is not something I want to bring to my parents' front door. And it's not something I want to think about you going through alone. Is someone shooting at us? Come on, this way! going right now, Patrick? I don't know! Just drive faster! It's a Santa Fe. I am going as fast as I can. Shit! Right behind us! I don't know how to lose them. There aren't any turns on this road. Keep your head down! Fuck! That one just went through the car. Marina, watch out! There's a tire or something on the road ahead. Fuck. The gas pedal's stuck or something. I can't slow down. Brace yourself! <laughs> Marina. Marina. Are you okay? Hey. Heads up, Patrick. What? Ashes and Embers, starring Bradley William Smith and Mariana Mendonca, featuring Tom Irvine, written and directed by Amanda Mack.